Now that you've successfully paired your D2L and your MyLab or Mastering course, we are going to set up GradeSync, where we can automatically transfer your grades from your Pearson MyLab or Mastering course to your D2L gradebook. So we're gonna use that same widget that we used to pair our courses. And then we're gonna click on the tab that says Grade Sync. From here, you have the option to turn on automatic Grade Sync, which when a student takes an assignment in My Lab or Mastering, it will automatically flow to your D2L gradebook, or you can turn it off, which means you'll need to run a manual sync whenever you want your grades from your My Lab or Mastering course to be synced over to D2L. So for today's purpose, we're gonna turn on automatic grade sync for all of our assignments. Um, you'll see here that here are a list of our assignments that are assigned in our My Lab or Mastering course. Again, assignments have to be assigned to students to populate here. So we can select all, or we can select individual assignments to sync over to our D2L gradebook. What this is gonna do when we click Sync Grades Now is it's actually going to create these grade columns in our D2L gradebook. So if you already have grade columns for a MyLab or Mastering assignment, you can go ahead and delete those because these are going to create their own grade columns in our D2L gradebook. So again, we have Automatic Grade Sync on and we have selected the assignments that we want to sync over to our D2L gradebook. Once again, if you do not see assignments listed here, that means that you do not have any that are actually assigned to students in your My Lab or Mastering course, and you may want to go check that. Um, another thing that you can do is if you click all, um, it'll put it in some sort of order for you by, um, by title. So this will kind of arrange it when you do your initial sync into your D2L gradebook. So we're gonna click sync grades now and it will give you your progress bar here. So all of them are synced. You can also go back and look at your recent syncs and it'll show you when um, your grade syncs were actually processed. So our grades have been synced and now we're gonna go back to our D2L course and go to our grades tab. And we're gonna click manage grades. Cause you'll see here, here are those grade items that we synced over from the My Lab or Mastering course. Um, they are kind of in a random order right now. So we will want to put them in categories. They're not automatically categorized or given weights in the D2L gradebook through the sync. And they're not really in sequential order as they're assigned. So what we're gonna do to put them in categories is we are going to select all and click bulk edit. And then here's where you will be able to put it in a category that you need to establish. As you can see, this is a blank grade book, so I need to create categories. New category, and I'm just gonna do homework and quizzes. And you can adjust all of your weights and your settings there to match your course uh, grading scheme. Now that I've created those categories and I select all and click bulk edit, now I can put these in categories. So this is skills review homework. You will only have to do this after your initial sync because after all of your automatic syncs come over, they will automatically be put in these categories. So this is just the initial setup. And we're gonna click save. So another thing that you may also see is these max points that are allocated. This is actually the number of questions that it equates to on the MyLab side. So for this chapter two skills review homework, 
there are 13 questions in that assignment. So when you're seeing max points, that is what that equates to. You can update that on the D2L side as well because this is coming over as raw data. So that's why you're seeing those max points. That's the number of questions in that assignment. So now that we've categorized them, we may want to reorder them. So again, we're going to select all and from more actions, we're gonna click reorder. And here's where you're gonna be able to change the order of the grade item as you see it in your grade book if you want for it to go chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. Um, so we can put those um, in the correct order that we want them and click save. And once you have your assignments categorized after they've come over to your D2L gradebook and you've placed them in the order that you would like for them to be in, um, you do not have to touch this. If it's set up for automatic grade sync for those assignments, they will automatically flow in. And once your students enroll in your class and they are on your class roster, you will be able to see these grades populated on the D2L side that will be a one-to-one -one match with your MyLab and Mastering Gradebook. Again, this is how you set up GradeSync for your D2L and MyLab course pairing.